brother! And welcome everyone to another episode of J vs. Ben. Now, last Christmas, Pottermore came out with the Harry Potter Christmas quiz. And we were like, that's a great idea! The perfect thing! The problem was, what do we do this year? Well, fortunately, they came out with an even bigger one! That's right. This is the Harry Potter Extra Large Christmas Quiz. I believe this one has 40 questions. Yes. So we gotta get a move on. We do, yeah, absolutely. Let's just... get started, let's establish the rules in case this is your first episode of Jay vs. Ben. What's gonna happen is Derek is gonna read us the questions. If you'd like to play along with us, we'll include a link in the description so you can go right ahead and do that. And how it will work is Ben and I will not have the multiple choice. No, no. But in the event that both of us agree that we need the multiple choice, we can, we get can then get it. Right. Derek. This is a little strategy in play there. Yeah. But uh, that's how it's gonna work. 40 questions on the board. Question one. Let's go. Question one. Who did the Weasley twins hit with bewitched snowballs? Three, two, one. Quirrell. The Quirrell. correct answer is Professor Quirrell. That's right. Although it's kind of funny when you reread it because you realize that was Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> they literally hit Voldemort. They're literally face. hitting Voldemort because they're like hitting his turban. Question two. Where did Ron's parents spend Christmas in 1991? <laughs> Where did they spend Christmas in 1991? What a question. Do you know? I have, I have, I think I do know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hold on. Let me back out here. This is gonna be the first year. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Romania? Romania is correct. Yeah! Visiting, visiting my brother Charlie. In Romania. You know, it's like, they're able to go visit him no problem, but then in like book three, it takes like an entire thousand galleon lottery to go visit Egypt. Right. Yeah. Right. Whatever. Yes. What game did Ron teach Harry over their first year Christmas holidays? Three, two, one. Wizard's chess. That's wizard's chess. <laughs> That's <laughs> wizard's chess. <laughs> Which is essentially just chess. Like you could, you can just play exactly what they do. Question four. What colors were the Weasley twins' Christmas jumpers? Ready? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Mayor B? Like a bee that's a mayor? The mayor of the Okay. Bees. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Green, blue with yellow letters? Uh, the correct answer blue. is blue and I yellow. I knew it! Yes! I just like, uh, This is like Ravenclaw. Because it's like, why would you even do that? Why aren't they all maroon? This is why, right. okay, because I remember them here, Ron's like, she knows I hate maroon and I'm in Gryffindor. And you're like, you, it's part, it's like, dude. Question five. How many Weasleys spent Christmas in Hogwarts during Harry's first year? Okay, okay. yep, three, two, one, four, four. The correct answer is four, Woo! RFGP. <laughs> Did Ron, you write their names? Yeah, yeah. Ron, Fred, George, Percy. Percy. Percy is one of these characters that screws with me so much so because like, he, he really just is. Yeah. Question six. Who kissed Professor McGonagall on the cheek during a Christmas dinner? You got it? Yep. Three, two, one. Hagrid. Hagrid! It is Hagrid. Yeah! But I didn't want you to think that me speaking like Grop was incorrect. So I was like, right. Just for clarification. <laughs> so, yeah. Question seven. This is a select all that apply. Which of these characters were at Hogwarts for Christmas during Chamber of Secrets? Percy Weasley, Vincent Crabb, Draco Malfoy, Millicent Bolstrode, Hermione Granger. We're all, uh, okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Everyone except Millicent Bolstrode. Everyone but Bolstrode is correct. Yeah. Okay, this is a weird question. It was a dumb question. <laughs> well, it's, it's because, like, Hermione is going to turn into Millicent and Bolstrode with the Polyjuice Potion that year. Right. That's what, like, the event is that Christmas. But, like, the, so, Crab and Goyle are both still there. They're just assuming the Slytherins aren't going to know Millicent and Bolstrode left for the holidays is what's happening. I think that, because Hermione gets the hair off of her during the dueling club, and yeah. I think what it is, Hermione... Like tasks Harry and Ron with going to get the hairs with the sleeping draft and the yeah, how thick can you get moment yeah, and I'm pretty sure she's like I'll just explain to him that I decided to come back early. Oh, you're right, or something, something like that. Question eight: How many helpings of trifle did Crab and Goyle eat before scoffing Hermione's sleeping draft infused cakes? Oh man, it could be anything. That could be anything. That's quite, quite literally question. how thick can you get, right? <laughs> like, can you 
get? Uh, how many helpings? How many helpings? Of trifle? Of trifle. Of trifle. trifle. I, don't even, I don't even know what trifle is, Ben. <laughs> Do you think it's, this is, is this a more than 10 or less than 10? What kind of a helping? <laughs> you know, like, if you give yourself three scoops, is that one helping or is that three helpings? How many times do you go back? Right, how many times do you go back is a helping. Right, yeah. right. Hmm. Okay, you ready? Oh, yes. Three, two, one. Three. Four. The correct answer is four. No way! Oh, you Josh and me. Oh, it never happens that, you had something different and my heart completely sank. This is... That's, that is twice where I have, like, I didn't put blue, and I was pretty sure it was blue. Uh, this was, because Harry gets the green one with the golden snitch on it, I'm pretty sure, is how it works. With the, the sweaters. Oh, the jumpers. Cool. But I was like, was that in the first year? Is that later on? I, uh, anyway, I'm just not, I'm not, uh, okay, let's go. Off your game, haven't had enough coffee? Question nine. Which Honeyduke sweets did Hermione think her parents would like for Christmas? It's How specific does it need to be? Quite. Quite? Like... Hmm... I feel like this is one if we get the multiple choice, we'll probably get it right. I know... I think... Un unless... Generically speaking, I think I know what it is. Me too, right? Like, I know the... The question is, what if they give us, like, four different of that thing? Right. And it's like, you have to figure out which one of it that it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah. All right. Well, multiple I choices. Because I feel so dumb. Like, I feel like I know it, but I don't. I don't know, like, the qualifiers. I, I know that we, I know that we're on exactly yeah. the same page. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Peppermint toads, ice mice, tooth flossing string mints, sugar quills. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Three, two. Well, hang on. for what it's worth. As soon as you said it, I stopped writing things down, but I circled the letter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we Three, two, one. Floss. C. Yeah, it's the... Copyright. <laughs> two. Yeah, I knew it was floss. I just didn't know the... Right, like, because... Peppermint floss or, you know, whatever. Her Hermione's parents are very famously dentists. Very famously dentists. Question 10. What did Professor Trelawney wear to Christmas dinner? What did she wear? Yeah. My goodness. I... I have like words that are coming to my head that I don't feel are accurate, but they are <laughs> appearing there. I have no idea. So what does this mean? Like, she, is this like a head dress? Is it like a, a robe? <laughs> is it like bejeweled glasses? Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be hilarious. Right. Like yeah. what, would, what would someone as eclectic as Trelawney be wearing? I know. Well, I'm okay just guessing because words appeared in my head and I need to make up points anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if it's right at all. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. I wrote an emerald green shawl. I put starry robes. A green sequined dress. I don't... You got, you got, you got a <laughs> color, right? Do I get anything for this, Derek? No. No? What's a shawl? <laughs> I feel like a shawl is like a very large like a, scarf. Essentially, yeah, that's a good okay. way to think of it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what's a shawl? <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be like parasols. Like, Everybody's going to be like, yeah. oh my god, Jay doesn't know what a shawl is. Everybody, let's make fun of Jay for not knowing what a shawl is. <laughs> this is so great. We totally forgot about that not umbrella thing. <laughs> Question 11 How long did Hermione spend getting ready for the Yule Ball? Oh my gosh, these are like crazy questions. Yeah, Jeez. we're on 11. Yeah, this is only question 11. Okay. I think I got it. I think I remember this. Okay. Three, yeah. two, one. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours is correct. Yeah! Woo! Look at that. Woo! Question 12. Who is Lavender Brown's partner at the Yule Ball? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Seamus. Dean Thomas. The correct answer is Seamus Finnegan. Woo! Dang it! Yes! Jay makes one up. Woo! Pick him up. Although I was two behind. I almost put Seamus. Yeah, I was really, it was really a cord flip. <laughs> I forget who Dean took. I hope that's not a question. <laughs> I know. I was like, it's got to be. It's got to be another like fellow Gryffindor, and I know who Ron, Harry, and Neville, Neville went. went with. Yeah. Question thirteen: What pest did Luna believe you could find in mistletoe? I might be getting. I might be drawing <laughs> even here. <laughs> Maybe not, not good. <sighs> no, this feels so wrong. 
Ready? Three, two, one. Nargles. Nargles is correct. Yeah, <laughs> Your eyes oh my lit God. up. <laughs> this is one. My oh only my concern gosh. here is like this is this feels like one of the things they needlessly changed in the movie. I just remember Harry being like probably filled with nargles. Like what are nargles? Question fourteen. This is a select all that apply. Yeah. What instruments were used by the Weird Sisters at the Yule Ball? Lute, bagpipes, guitar, piano, harpsichord, cello, drums. Yeah, I have no idea. This is, I'm just like, ugh. this is gonna be frustrating because I feel like I'm gonna leave something. I feel like I will have the right things, but I might be forgetting something. I'm so, I'm gonna, I don't, I feel like I haven't circled enough. I feel like I need one more and I don't know. I felt the same way. Did you circle something else? I'm not going to say. We're, okay, we're going to go with All it. Right, three, two, one. I said guitar, harpsichord, drums, and piano. I said lute, cello, guitar, and drums. Oh, we're way all over the place. The correct answer is bagpipes. Is guitar. Yeah. Okay. Drums. Yeah. Lute. No. Oh. Cello. Oh, no. And bagpipes. Dang it! <laughs> You were really, really close, Ben. Well, that's an obvious miss for Ben. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I can say. Everything but a piano or a harpsichord. They had guitars and lutes. They had guitars and lutes. Well, okay. Oh, it's so frustrating. It's so close. Yeah. What can we say? When you're dead wrong, you're dead wrong. Question 15. In the chapter Christmas on the Closed Ward, Broderick Bode received a pot plant and which other present? Come again? I imagine that they mean potted plant. All right. The question reads <laughs> pot plant. <laughs> it's a progressive world. Oh, well, uh, all right. Oh, boy. Okay, he receives a potted plant and <laughs> a pot plant. A pot plant. I, I would take multiple choice. Okay, let's do I, it. I don't have a shot in the dark. Okay, let's do it. The answers are a Celestino Warbeck album, a Hippogriff calendar, slippers, and Bernie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. What are you doing over there, Ben? I'm writing down what my first answer was, just, okay. to, just to see. Were you between two? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay. Three, two, one. Slippers. Slippers. The correct answer is a Hippogriff calendar. No, that was the other one. Look, that's the one I didn't cross out. That hippogriff was, calendar. That was not my other one. Now, what was your other one? My other one was the Celestina Warback. <sighs> Question 16. Who did Hermione consider asking to the Slug Club party before deciding on McClagan? Ready? Yeah, three, two, one. Ron! Ron! The correct answer is Zacharias Smith. Really? Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. Okay. I mean... This is also correct. <laughs> that might be uh, true, but this is also correct. I, I think that you are correct on that. So we'll, I mean, I feel like maybe you both got it wrong in the same way. I think that uh, in the context of seeing all four questions, um, or all four answers rather, it's easier to get that one. Because Ron's not an option. Because Ron's not an option. Oh, uh, well, see, that's it. Well, I don't know. I guess we don't get a point, but. You both got, yeah, you, you were, guys you're correct. Know. You're correct. Right, you if know. you would have known that Ron was not on the yeah. answers here. Yeah. Question 17. What did creatures send Harry for Christmas? This is this quiz is proving to me that I need to reread the books. It's been, we're at that point. It's like it's been too long. Yeah. Every now and then I'm like, okay, I think I've reread them recently. Can I go down my little podcast hole? That's what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's just, mm. Mm. Oh, I hate these kind of questions because there's just like, she fills the books with so many details like this. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah. Three, two, one. An old rag. Homemade fudge. <laughs> the correct answer is maggots. Ah! Maggots. Close. Close. <laughs> Close. Of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of maggots? Question 18. What Christmas present did Petunia Dursley give to Lily Potter? What Christmas present did Petunia give to Lily? You know this one? I think I do know this one. There's a reason why I know it. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, I have no idea. Uh, she's got to be like talking to Snape I know, I, about I know. like... He's going to unfold it. I, know uh, he's gonna do. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm right. But. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, man. I don't know how. 
how he does it. This is why we need the timer system. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. An old vase. Oh my god. An, an ugly, horrible vase. Yes. yes. Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh. I, it's I was, like I didn't I even was... win. It's like I didn't even get the question right. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the wrong part. I thought this was inside of Snape's memory, but it's in the, the letter. It's in the letter, finds. and the, the reason why I remembered it is because Harry broke it yeah. flying around on the broom. <laughs> no loss there. Yeah. Oh, Come gosh. on! <laughs> question 19. Why did Auntie Muriel stop going to the burrow for Christmas dinner? I have an answer. I don't think it's right, though. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Fidelis charm on her house? Oh. I said Arthur's fascination with muggle things. Fred and George set off a dung bomb under her chair. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty... Well... I would, I just, because it seems like she was sort of like an uppity, <clears throat> you know, like very pure bloodist type of person. A little bit. But like, she's, they're using her house as a safe house. Yeah. Like, it's got the charm on it. I guess, I guess that doesn't mean she can't leave. Right. Maybe she's still, I think it's because she's still mad at Fred and George for sending off a dog bomb under her chair at the wedding. Uh, That's what it is. Question 20. In Deathly Hollows, which Hogwarts student did Dumbledore's army lose over Christmas? Uh, yes, I, I, have, I have a guess, but... Me too. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Dean Thomas. The Dean. correct answer is Luna. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, no, because, well... She, because she doesn't come back. Because <laughs> she doesn't come back, but, like... I was thinking because Dean is on the run, too. Yeah. Right. That's what I was thinking. It seems like it's cold, also, when, when you hear Dean... Is yeah. out there. How does he end up not? Does he, did he not go I got, back? Maybe just think about period. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, Luna, that makes sense. Okay. Fair enough. We lost her over Christmas. Yeah, that's what Neville says. Question 21. In Philosopher's Stone, Ron picked an every flavor bean that tasted of which Christmas food? This is going to be like, do you know the Muffin Man? What are English Christmas foods? Oh. <laughs> What's worse is that I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Watch me not get it. I'm gonna feel real dumb. Three, two, one. Tripe. Crumpet. The correct answer is sprouts. Oh! Lame! Which is also sprouts. a real weird English Christmas Yeah, are food. you kidding me? I didn't get it right. Now I feel real dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Right. See, when I slurped, we both got it right. When you slurped, we both got it wrong. Question 22. In Chamber of Secrets, which festive drink do we see Hagrid drink many goblets of? This festive drink. I know. I, I feel like I can think of something, but it doesn't. I don't, I'm not ringing festive on it. Hmm. You want to turn? Do you have an answer? Uh, it doesn't, the, mine doesn't feel festive. Okay. Either. Three, two, one. Fire whiskey? I said mead. The correct answer is eggnog. Eggnog. I was thinking it was like. He gets stuck in his beard. <laughs> what a non-magical answer. A I know, right? I don't like that question because it's a regular muggle drink. <laughs> Eggnog. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I was like, they haven't really gotten to Hogsmeade by Chamber of Secrets, so there's not like a ton of, there's not like butter beer. Oh, sure, I sure. was like, there's like malted mead and stuff. Is butter beer supposed to be alcoholic? Oh, boy, it's really unclear. But like Winky gets drunk off of it. So right. I guess but like, like lightly. Okay. I'm thinking it's like, you know. Like 0.5%. Like 0.5%. If you're a house elf, it's a problem. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Question 23. Which book features the chapter A Very Frosty Christmas? Not an easy question. Unless you just know the answer. I don't know the answer. I don't. I, I know a couple. I know what a couple of them are. So I know which ones it isn't. Mm-hmm. Um, right. That's sort of where I'm at. Like, I can rule out like that one and that one. Right. Like, this is like, it's such like, frosty's a weird word. Frosty it's is just a weird like, word. Is it just like a cold Christmas, or is she like double meaning it to mean like... That time Frost the Snowman. Yeah, it's with the Frosty Snowman. Yeah. Yeah. Right, with a magic hat. Are you ready? No. No, oh, alright, sorry. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, you guys. <laughs> Derek's gonna edit it all out and you won't even know. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself for taking so long. I, I, I mean, like, we, it's not even like we have to pull the words out of the air. Like, we I know, know all the titles. I know, I know all the names of the books. I just, like, I feel like it's, I can figure it out if I think hard enough. All right, ready? I'm sorry, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. well, this is, uh, that's what happens in that book, right? You are way too preoccupied. 
Ah! Okay, fine. Let's just do it. Three, two, one. So the sorcerer step. Order of the Phoenix. The correct answer is Half Blood Prince. Oh my God! Look across the now. Man, I, I actually—that's what I was between. Ah! I was, I was like, Ugh. no, no. The Half Blood Prince is when Ron. Is that when Ron drinks the love potion at Christmas? Is that what happens then? I was like, surely the title would be about that. Oh, I'm so mad. Although the Sorcerer's Stone it. is the invisibility cloak, isn't it? Is it not? Or is it the Mirror of Erised? It's like the Mirror of Erised. <sighs> You're right. That should have been more obvious. I was thinking just about the wizard chess game. That's play. wizard's chess. Yeah, wizard's mm. chess. Yeah. It does seem like in the first year it'd be most likely for Frosty to mean a good thing. Right. Like, yeah, that's sort of... Because, like, they talk about Fred and George with the, the Quirrell snowballs and they yeah. go out and have a, a fun time. It's Harry's, like, first... Yeah, yeah. First time I've ever had presents. Question 24. In Harry's very weird dream, he imagined Christmas baubles shaped like which character's head? All right. Three, two, one. Dobby. The correct Quirrell. answer is Dobby. Quirrell Dang. is the first night at Hogwarts. Ah. Well, at least there was a reason why that was in my head. That is the, that is the first thing that came to my head, too. And I was like, no, because that's not a Christmas. Okay. Anyway. All right. all right. All right. Question 25. This is another select all that apply. Which of these festive passwords has the fat lady used during the Christmas period? Fairy lights, baubles, turkey legs, sleigh bells, snowflake. Guess I'm ready. I don't feel great about it. I don't it, feel but... great about it either. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I put A and B. I also put A and B. Although, the... I really think it's just A, but... The correct answer is fairy lights... And bubbles. Yay! Nice! Okay. okay. I was just like, I know it's not these three at all, and I know <laughs> it is fairy lights, and it'd be dumb if this was only a single answer question. That would be. That was, That's literally why I chose B. Okay, so I knew bobbles because this is one of these words, maybe this is going to parasol me to death. <laughs> <laughs> but like, bobbles, it, it like refers to like, like, Ornaments, correct? Yeah, it's, like oh, it's an orb. Yeah. Just like an orb. Uh, mm. Yeah, but like it seems like there's so many other words that aren't this word slurry that you could use, like ornament or ball. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like a like a British thing. I think. Not baubles. What is baubles? It's like bubbles, but worse. <laughs> bubbles right. are round though. They, they shape. It's like that's basically what it is. It's like it's like bubbles, but a little different. But <laughs> more glass. Yeah. yeah. Baubles. Baubles. Question 26. What did Vernon Dursley warn Harry would happen from now until Christmas if he did any funny business? I feel like they're really reaching for questions at this point. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. It's like, was Christmas using that sentence? It counts. Yeah, it counts. That's exactly, <laughs> exactly what's happened. Someone has their control F function up with all their Harry Potter complete series. It is like, Christmas? Well, this is a question. I'm, I'm counting it. I know how they did this. Okay, uh, I, I, I don't know. Cool. All right, three, two, one. Locked in his cupboard. No meals. The correct answer is that he would have to stay in his cupboard. Yeah! Any oh. funny business. And I think that Pantle. means... Pantle. think that means Jay is ahead. I think I have regained the lead. Or maybe... Mm. Earned Man, the I lead. Always, I always felt like the punishment was like unnecessary. I mean, that's harsh anyway, but like. Well, this has to be Sorcerer's Stone. This is like when they're going to the zoo. I know, I know. Question 27. Which musical act was played on the Burroughs radio on Christmas Eve? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's have this thing war back. I said Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> ah. The correct answer is Celestina Warbeck. Is it just a song? The song is Rudolph the Red Nose. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, I would have been like, like I'm no counting way. that. No, no, no. Um. What question are we on? I'm pretty 28. sure the song is Hot Cauldron of Love. That does seem right for. Uh, yeah, that does seem right for Half Blood. Yeah. There's a lot of. For old lot Arthur of and Molly Wobbles. Oh. <laughs> That's a terrible pet name. Question 28. Xenophilius Lovegood thought he had got. Luna, the horn of a crumple horn snorkack for Christmas, but he actually got her what? Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. An irrumpent horn. An irrumpent horn. Woo! Yes. Question 29. When Harry buys Ron some omnoculars, he says he doesn't have to get him a present for about how long? Ready? Yeah, three, two, one. Ten years? Oh, I said through Christmas. The correct answer is ten years. Woo! 
man. I Nailed it. I thought this was one where Harry's like, it'll be your Christmas gift too. And then Harry still gets him a Christmas gift anyway. And eventually Ron's like, I didn't realize the leprechaun gold disappeared. You weren't supposed to get me anything. And Harry's like, ah, I don't think anything of it. Am I wrong? Does none of that happen? That, something like that happens. I mean, the leprechaun gold disappears and Ron feels all like, didn't even notice. You're so rich. Kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, ten, 10 years was literally immediately what came to mind, and then I was like, it can't be that long, because like we see him get him a whole bunch of other gifts. Yeah. Damn. Well, I, th I think he's just saying it as like, a, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. Question 30. In Chamber of Secrets, what happened that made Snape look as if Christmas had been cancelled? Three, yeah. two, one. Harry beats Slytherin in Quidditch. Harry isn't expelled for crashing into the wall. Oh, uh, you're right. And Harry seen. and Ron are not expelled. Uh, that's exactly it. I'm like, what good thing happens to Harry? <laughs> it's really not a good thing. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's, it's like a, a double it's, negative. It's a just not as bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Question 31. Who acquired a Christmas tree for Grimald Place? Who acquired a... You, you just knew this. I just knew this You one. just knew this one. You just listened to this or something? No. No? You just no. know this one. I just know this one. Well, I think I know this one. I'm not going to tell you why until afterwards. <sighs> Okay. Although I could have it confused with something else now that I think about it. Unless the reason why I remember it is because it's something else as well. Mm. <sighs> could be. Alright, whatever. Do you have something right now? Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Molly. Mundungus Fletcher. Oh. The correct answer is Mundungus Fletcher. Well, there you go. Yeah. See, okay. He, he wasn't also, even in my brain space. He also acquires them a car, I think, to go visit... <laughs> Mr. Weasley in the hospital. Yes, and I'm like, is Mundungus like weirdly useful for like one chapter? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Also, what if, like acquiring a quiz a Christmas tree is not hard to get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. A Christmas tree? It's not hard to get a Christmas tree. You guys, you guys, it's, it's just Mundungus Fletcher getting a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, like this is this is notable at all. Why do you remember that? Because of the cars. I mean, because of the cars. <sighs> and because Mundungus Fletcher is one of these characters, I had the issue of reading the first four books like ninety times before the fifth book mm -hmm. came out. Mm -hmm. And Mundungus Fletcher is this character that they throw around like he's been there the whole time. And I'm yeah, just right? like, and I, I, who? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it like him as a character by itself like, disenchanted me from these books a little bit. Wow. Yeah. I oh, blame well. Dungus Fletcher. Mm. Anyway. Question 32. In Prisoner of Azkaban, which teacher appeared in the Gryffindor common room on Christmas Day? McGonagall? The correct answer is Minerva McGonagall. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> like, who else would <laughs> it be? Not much of a trick question or anything. It's, just it's a, a trick question because, because it's, it's a straight forward. Straight forward. <laughs> Who's head of Gryffindor house in book five? <laughs> Yeah. McGonagall? <laughs> That's correct, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Question 33. What festive message did Dobby put on his Christmas decorations? Dobby is weirdly Dobby prevalent. Put... On Christmas? On Christmas. Yeah. I think it's Harry stuff. Seems like if it's Dobby, it's like him misinterpreting something a little bit. Mm hmm Right. Something like that. I feel like this one is like, on that, I can like, I can like, see the writing in my head and I can't like, read it. Uh, Do you want to go multiple choice on this one? Kind of. All right, let's, let's go multiple choice. Okay. All right, the multiple choice is Christmas socks for everyone. Have a very hairy Christmas. Season's greetings from your best little helper. Have your elf a merry little Christmas. Three, two, one. B? Socks for everyone. No, B. <laughs> uh, have a very hairy Christmas. Yeah, I, I knew that you guys were gonna. Harry's name in it. I knew you guys were gonna get it once you went to Christmas uh, to uh, multiple choice. It's like that's where the quiz master can't get into the delightful mind of J.K. Rowling and think like Dobby. Yep. Right. It's like that's the only one that sounds like Dobby. Right. Right. Yes. Have but they, your elf a very merry Christmas. To be fair to Pottermore, they have come up with some rather clever things before. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. This particular one was a giveaway. Uh, what question we have? Question 34. What did Dumbledore have for dinner at the Yule Ball? Three, two, one. Pork chops. Pork chops. It is pork chops. Yeah. How do you know that? Because the way you get your food at the Yule Ball was that it had a short menu, and he just says it clearly to his menu. Says pork chops, and they appear in front of them. That's yeah. right. And Harry, Harry's Jeez. like, I wonder how much extra work this is for the house elves. And he's like, I wonder if that's bothering Hermione. But Hermione's all like snuggled up with Vicky. 
Snoggle about the virus. Oh, man. That's disgusting. I hate that word. Me too. Snogging. Is that uh, is that a it's, real thing? It, I feel like yeah, no, that's I what just, they're saying. Oh yeah, it sounds okay. like something that you would do with your nose. It does. Yes, I it think does. that's what got what, that gets me with it. It, it, it sounds like nasal. Like if you were to pull away, there'd be like a <laughs> <laughs> like a lady in the trip snot bubble. <laughs> okay. All Next right. Question. question thirty-five: Who drank a vat of five hundred year old wine one Christmas? A vat. That sounds like a lot. A vat does seem like a lot. Okay, you want to turn? Yeah. Three, two, one. Uncle Billius. Uh, uh, the correct answer is the fat lady. Oh, uh, she can drink <laughs> a whole thing because she's a mm. painting. Well, I got that wrong. Yeah, me too. Haggard was the only person I could think of that could possibly drink a vat of something. I was thinking of the story they Come tell at um, the wedding about how he, like, I guess, ah, they're just talking about other weddings where he would be the life of the party. Question 36. When did Ron first hear Hermione's voice coming from the Deluminator? I, I don't know exactly what they're asking for. Like, are they asking for, like, a condition or for, like, a specific time? Or... Like, was it St. Patrick's Day? The day before St. Patrick's Day? The day after St. Patrick's Day? Labor Day? <laughs> Sounds like, like those are the options. The day after Labor Day, the day before Labor Day, commonly known as Labor Day Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. When she said his name on Christmas Eve? The correct answer is Christmas Day. I had just added the word Eve. <laughs> Someone was talking up a storm about <laughs> Labor Day Eve. Is that right? I don't know if that's right. So the thing is, is that I thought he came back closer... I thought he comes back on Christmas, but like the first time he heard her heard the name is when Harry and Hermione are having an argument and say his name for the first time. Yeah, and he hears it. Right. And I was thinking that was like a few weeks prior to when he comes back. Right. Like he's like zipping around for a while, like following them, but can't find them because of the enchantments. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're right too. But because they're in Godric's Hollow on Christmas, or is it on Christmas Eve? Maybe on Christmas Eve because there's like parties and stuff happening. Sure. Okay. Well, and then that's the night that the wand yeah. breaks. That's the night the wand breaks, and then they go to the forest, and that's where Ron finds them because that's when they finally destroy the locket. Right. Because they get the sword. Question thirty-seven: What did Crookshanks wear on Christmas morning? What did Crookshanks wear? What did Crookshanks wear on Christmas morning? Oh God. I'll do the multiple choice. Okay, do it. The answers are a bow tie, a small woolly jumper, a Santa hat, some tinsel around his neck. One of these is what I thought it was before we got the multiple choice. The other... Okay, so my circled answer is my answer. The one that has an arrow next to it is what I thought it was first. Okay. Three, two, one. D. Tinsel. The correct answer is tinsel. Yes. You know, that is what I thought too, but I was like, in my mind, the word tinsel didn't come, just string. Came and I was like, why would you wear string? What? <laughs> string? <laughs> like, something like like a wire was crossed in my brain. Like, I know the word, but string doesn't sound right. Yeah. Well, I thought, I think in my mind what came up was a Father Christmas hat. Oh. Like, I feel like they didn't, they don't call him Santa. Oh. And so. Threw you off the scent. That, that's what I would have said prior to. Hmm. Gotcha. Getting hmm. multiple choice. Sure. The tinsel just felt very J.K. Rowling. Question 38 is another select all that apply. Which of the following Celestina Warbeck songs are heard on the radio during her Christmas broadcast? A Cauldron Full of Hot Strong Love, You Charmed the Heart Right Out of Me, Flighty Aphrodite, Beat Those Bludgers Back, Boys. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. A and B. A and B. Uh, the Cauldron and the Charmed Heart. That's yeah. correct. Yay! I feel like I sort of gave away this answer. A little bit I, earlier, yeah. I would have had that one. Question 39. <gasps> At what time did the Yule Ball begin? 3, 2, 1. 9 p.m.? The Nine. correct answer <laughs> is 8 p.m. Oh, oh, man! No! I disagree because I think they say I'll meet you in the entrance hall at 8. Why would you meet at... Uh, maybe that's why. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe but you don't eight. meet when it starts. You right. meet like an hour before it starts. Right, unless you're me, in which case you arrive 15 minutes late and apologize. Well, Harry, I don't think you have that option. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Hold the ball. I think, man, 
Well, that was my reasoning was because I remembered that. Sure, sure. Anyway, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Question 40, the final question. What did the Weasley twins put on top of the Christmas tree? Three, two, one. A gnome, a witch's hat. The correct answer is a garden gnome in a tutu. Oh, a dressed up gnome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Man, I don't remember what the score was. I don't know. What Congratulations the score was to the winner. Congratulations <laughs> to the winner. You did such a good job. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Man, good. good job, winner. Right. We're so proud of whichever. I saw that. <laughs> I it was me. I gotta congratulate myself too. Maybe. Mm-mm. But it looked like I turned, then you went and did it. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never. Quit it! <laughs> See the score? <laughs> Boy, we're gonna feel real dumb if I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how you did in the towel section down below and how you are spending this Christmas. If you would like to see more J versus Ben, you can check out this whole playlist right here. It's a very good list. It's a good thing to do on your the rest of your Christmas day with your family. Just yeah. bust out a pen and paper. See if you can school them all Harry Potter. Do it as a family, a crackling fireplace, a bunch of notepads. What could be better? Nothing, really. Anyway, Merry Christmas! Bye!